I know I have a million flaws, but what can I do? I, I either I spend all my money and my mind just like stressing on it and all that. I'd rather not. I'd rather do other fun stuff in that time. Aaj ke episode mein we are in conversation with model Isha Asad. Aur hum baat kar rahe hain about beauty standards and why we shouldn't take them too seriously. I still struggle with self love. I don't think I'm beautiful or anything like that. That's just my job. 3 hours of makeup, a lot of editing. I I don't think that's how I actually look my shoot pictures or anything. So I mean, it's just for me I, I, personally I've just accepted just being in the middle, not caring about being beautiful or ugly or whatever. I also feel like I have a responsibility to be real online because I have so many like little girls following me, all of the kids and all. Welcome to another episode of Out of the Box. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Out of the Box. Today we are joined by one of my co-hosts, Saroj. Hi! Hi. <laughs> and we're also joined by a friend of mine, and I hope that after this podcast, we will be more friends. Her name is Isha Asad, and she is a model who you might have seen her on like BDW ki campaign, Sapphire ke. Come, yaar, Rokni, did I say this right? Bridal shoots in a cafe queue, and she also is a graduate of LAMS, political science. And why I wanted to have you here is because A, um, you do bust some stereotypes in my mind because you're someone in key social media space, it's so like funny and friendly. And while your work is about, of course, a lot of modeling is about putting a perception out there. And generally, I think when we talk about the modeling industry, um there's so many elements to it or uski andar bhi contradictions hoti hain ki while um you know we are entering a phase jahan women are empowered and we are told that they are we are allowed to you know dress however we want to look however we want it's our prerogative uh, and at the same time we're also dealing with the fact ki hame log ek mold mein dal dete hain if you are an attractive girl then you are an attractive girl and that's all probably you're going to be or if you are an unattractive girl then whatever you're going to say uski value kam ho jati hai so hum beauty changing beauty ideals se hum bar bar you know contradictions hoti hain we're dealing with that we're also dealing with body image issues and i remember uh, i i believe ki jo ek duniya ki kitni bhi khoobsurat aurat ho na wo shishe mein dekh ke insecure kisi na kisi baat pe feel karti hogi but how do we navigate through that so uh, hi isha and welcome to our podcast <laughs> hello and thank you so much for having me you're very welcome so isha i always ask people this question jab you kisi bhi specific industry se hote hain ki when it comes to the modeling or the fashion industry what is like the biggest misconception or what is the biggest thing that just hum jaise log get wrong who are outside of that industry honestly even i got this wrong before i entered the industry myself even i just thought it's just girls smiling into the camera no big deal whatever yeah. it's not <laughs> it's a lot more than that and i i didn't understand until i became one of them myself <laughs> so i mean i understand why it's a misconception because mm. part of the job is to make it look easy to mm-hmm. make it look effortless mm. so if obviously if you look like you're struggling and you're showing how hot it is outside how you're wearing heels in in the river ravi i don't know what weird shoot locations they take us to mm. but um <clears throat> then you're not going to sell the clothes exactly. you need to make it look effortless and easy breezy beautiful and all that so that's one misconception definitely i'd say people have and rightfully so but i'm here to tell you no it's difficult <laughs> we talked uh, mentioned in your intro that you went to lams you studied political science and then you became a model so how did how that did happen, that happen? <laughs> yeah um so basically when i was in my third year of university i had a friend shout out jahanur who <laughs> had an older sister in pifd shout out mahnoor <laughs> and she wanted to do a, a shoot for her final thesis display and i wasn't even part of that initially but i think one of the girls that they had bailed last minute yeah. so they called me they're like hey you're tall and skinny please come please <laughs> and their mom makes the best food ever so i was just like okay i'll come if if your mom if i get if i get her food that was the deal for me so i went and i did it and turns out the photographer was a fashion photographer mm. simab and she was also like hey isha why don't you do fashion and i was like what there's a fashion industry here like i was so like mm. i i had no idea <clears throat> and then so that was one 
uh, vakia that happened. Mm -hmm. And then a second one was that um, I was taking a summer semester in my university, and um, there's this brand, Elan. They yes, have a sister yes, brand, yes. Zaha. Uh -huh. So they were launching Zaha, which, uh, like, their target market is more youngsters, uh, hip girls, mm -hmm. younger students, and stuff. Mm -hmm. So they wanted to do a feature shoot at uh, my university. And I remember seeing the post in my Facebook group. It was um, my batchmate. Shout out Maria for Khan. Anyways, but yeah, she she's a model too. And she posted that oh a renowned brand wants to do a feature shoot with a bunch of girls um, on campus. It's unpaid, but um, yeah, this is an opportunity. And I remember seeing unpaid and I was like, whatever, <laughs> keep scrolling, whatever. But at, at the end, I think she didn't get much response or they didn't approve the names that wanted to go for it so she messaged me directly and she was like hey please do it you're tall and skinny and I was like okay sure fine if you ask like the opportunity kept knocking at my door so one thing led to the other again the same photographer uh, it was the same photographer as the first shoot Simab and then yeah. she eventually asked me to be part of another shoot a bridal shoot and yeah just one thing led to the other and <laughs> This is no longer a hobby and this is actually like a career. Yeah, I don't like I think it was once I graduated because when I took permission from my parents for modeling, my dad, he said, fine, so long as it's a part-time thing and not your like full-time thing. So I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem, whatever. Mm -hmm. But then when I graduated and I had to give actual job interviews, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm not liking this. Oh. So then within like, I think I just gave two interviews or something. And I just went to my dad because by then I'm from Islamabad. Mm -hmm. So by then I had moved back to Islamabad from Lahore. And I just went to my dad and I was like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I go back to modeling full time? Like, mm -hmm. uh. and it was a very um, dramatic conversation. I was crying and all that. Mm -hmm. And somehow he was just like, OK, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> then I moved back to Lahore. And I think that's when it really clicked that like, mm -hmm. OK, I'm sacrificing living with my family, being back home in Islamabad, having a normal job. And I mean, yeah, being a model is not very, not really the most prestigious thing you can be yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. Like the older generation still doesn't understand. They have their weird misconceptions Bilkul. and stuff. Bilkul. So did you feel that after you did, you know, you started telling people that I'm a model, do you think that when you say that to someone, that someone asks you, oh, what do you do for a living? And oh, I'm a model. Do you see that they try to stereotype you, okay, put you like in a box? Because even I've been guilty of that before I became friends with models. I used to think our models to was like shallow, low going, you know, they don't know. But then I have friends who are models and they're like some of the most kind and intelligent people I know. Risham, can I tell you something? Sure. I, I still don't tell people I'm a model. <laughs> when, I, when anyone asks me, I just go like, I'm in advertising. <laughs> Literally. Like, I don't, I don't want them to like judge me or mm. have these like... Haan, aapko stereotype yeah. Preconceived yeah. notions. Yes, yes. That was the word I was looking for. Haan. Thank you. Preconceived Haan. notions. Haan. Well, I guess having a podcast where we introduce you. You have been ex step. exposed officially. <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary mm. then they have like a million questions then they automatically assume I'm some bimbo who's just uh, into makeup and I clothes all, mm. all day and I don't want to have this conversation with someone I just met then I just go like you tell me what you do <laughs> I think I get what you mean because I'll be very honest with you when Rishim told me about you okay okay our podcast is like you know and I'll share the profile with you I was just like what am I going to talk about? I was just, you know, I was you doing go. that thing. And I was like, I, op I did not even open your DMs. I was like, kya karungi? Kya puchungi? how do I tell her? What? But then I opened and that was a whole another story. And I think we'll get into why it was like that. Because, okay, we will get into yeah. it. Yeah, eventually. Yeah. Do you get recognized? Uh, like, do people come up to you? Mm, uh, Twice or thrice, I think. Um, it's been cute. Once at a shadi, like, you are the Elan model, right? Uh, once at the cinema, there was this cute auntie. She was like, you do Zara Shah Jahan, right? And I was like, yeah. 
<laughs> Do you ever get to keep the clothes? I always wonder that. <laughs> uh you can't keep them you can borrow them oh mm. that's right Which events ke liye borrow kar sakte hai even that is not for free you have to in return give them pictures spotted mm. pictures ah, of you wearing the outfit pr thing we yeah. said yeah so a complicated part though of being a model is that essentially someone is hiring you for your image someone is hiring you for of course your talent as well ki aapne kis tarah wo ek cheez ko present karna but also like your look theek hai na so in the in uh, काफ़ी दफ़े फिर ये भी होता होगा दैट समन रिजेक्ट्स यू फॉर योर लुक और से एंड हाउ डज वन मेक श्योर टू नॉट टेक इट पर्सनली आई थिंक दैट हैज हैपन टू यू बिकॉज यू मैंशन इट इन योर हेलो पाकिस्तान एडिशन यू शेयर योर स्टोरी अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर इंसिडेंट एंड यू ओन्ड अप टू वट एवर दिस सेंग एंड यू सेट यू स्ट्रॉम डाउट राइट सो देर वॉज दिस शूट आई वेंट फॉर इट वॉज अलॉन शूट अ ब्राइडल शूट एंड शी स्टार्ट डूइंग माई मेकअप and it's like 50 shades it's like this color the foundation <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> and i was like uh, i don't think this is my shade and she the makeup artist she's the one who hired me mm-hmm. she goes like i didn't hire you for your skin tone i hired you for your features and that's when i was like honey bye like i just left like this <laughs> i i left i was just like I mean I mean I didn't obviously give her this whole lecture because she was she was this brat I just mm. I don't even want to talk about her yeah. um but it was just this was also in the beginning of my career this was when I was working part time when I was in uni mm. so this was a bit of a shock to me now later in my stay uh, in my career I know that salons are known to do this and mm. that models know not to work with salons unless you want to be whitewashed but i didn't know that i was just a kid yeah, yeah. now i know that mm-hmm. and their excuse is that oh it sells this mm-hmm. is what pakistanis want when they, when they're getting married they want to go to the salon and they want to be whitewashed mm-hmm. so yeah we have a problem a serious problem with colorism bahut zyada hai bahut there's so many i'm glad there's so many models now who are shattering this stereotype jaise wo trinet lucas hai rich in color and life on instagram she is so beautiful matlab and and at the same time matlab she's owning up to it and the confidence with that she exudes on screen matlab jo bhi jitne bhi shoots wagaira aur wo pe it's remarkable and i'm glad ke people are being models are being vocal about these incidents and not you know subduing themselves yeah yeah so like speaking of uh, i don't know how i'm connecting there's no speaking of i'm just going to ask yeah. uh, like actually i asked it for all of you and like not just you but also you as women how has your journey been with self love and accepting how you look and being okay with it and not letting it become such a uh, integral part ke aap upset ho jao you know like is that something you're still working on how did you get get, get kicked off because i'll start first because i remember ke with me har bande ka koi ek cheez hoti hai na one thing a feature or an, an element that they like thoda hota ke i okay itna se bas itni mein patli ho jaunga itna ye cheez ho jaye main bhi soch rahi hu apna hai na yeah so like this always um, one thing about ourselves jo hame sahi nahi lagta and for, you know a minimum one and for me it's always been like my weight theek hai because i've always like fluctuated with my weight and mujhe yaad hai ki for or obviously mujhe wahi tha ki acha nahi patle hone hai patle hone hai patle hone hai patle hoge to pyare ho jaoge pyare ho jaoge to khush ho jaoge like ye pura ek conversation chalti thi and i remember for me the moment i realized ki no rishi you can you have to stop doing it was when i was i went to nca so i was in nca and i was sitting at the canteen and meri ek dost thi who was like really skinny theek hai na and uh, like she didn't need to lose any weight. she was really skinny and she was on a diet because she thought that she was getting fatter or chubbier because someone had said something to her and i don't know something just happened in my mind ke oh my god most of our lives we are spending having this conversation yani hum is time ko aur kitna productively istemal kar sakte hain but we're focusing and we're stressing about ke hum kitna kha rahe hain aur kitna nahi kha rahe hain hum kitne patle hain kitne mote hain and not that us waqt mere issues khatam ho gaye not at all but i was like i'm going to at least actively try to not think like this anymore yeah. because ye is tarah nahi chalna this is just so detrimental and this is such a waste of time so that was my story so what is aap logon ki koi story hai is tarah ki honestly when it comes to self image mm. this is going to sound really dumb or funny i don't know but i just don't take myself seriously mm. like i did nothing to choose the way i look no yeah. one did you're just born with it 
either deal with it or just bitch about it your whole life i mean just accept however you look whether you're happy or not i know i have a million flaws but what can i do i i either i spend all my money and my mind just like stressing on it and all that i'd rather not i'd rather do other fun stuff in that time i mean why should i focus so much on myself and these little issues i know it's easier said than done but uh, and and i know i'm no gigi hadid or something obviously not and yes gigi my, hadid probably has a lot of flaws yes. when she looks in the mirror ki <laughs> and yeah everyone everyone feels the same way about themselves mm-hmm. i feel i everyone has their own insecurities and i mean that's just it's normal it's life it's just how us women also have mm. been portrayed to see each other as we- see ourselves sorry mm. so i mean i just i just don't pay pay much mind to it honestly it's just like i wish i could do that mujhe hota hai ki i have to fix it and i think the moment i realize ki it's not a me problem it's a you problem because कोई और मुझे आके कुछ कहता था या कोई क्वेश्चन करता था या इनडायरेक्टली कोई रिमार्क पास करता था आई वुड स्पेंड द इंटायर डे थिंकिंग अबाउट एंड आई वाज लाइक व्हाई एम आई वेस्टिंग माय टाइम माय एनर्जी माय मेंटल हेल्थ मैं उसको क्यों कॉम्प्रोमाइज कर रही हूँ बेस्ड ऑफ ऑफ व्हाट समवन एल्स हैज सेट टू मी या सो द मोमेंट आई स्टार्टेड इन्जॉइंग मतलब लुकिंग एट माई सेल्फ इन द मिरर लुकिंग एट माई सेल्फ मोर तो फिर तब जाके आई थिंक इट स्लोली जस्ट लाइक ऑफकोर्स दिस स्टिल डेज यू वेक अप यूर लाइक I don't like the way my thighs look I don't like the way my t- t- tummy is sticking out and why does my face look bigger than it did yesterday ajeeb se like you know dimag mein cheeze aati ki aise kyun ho raha hai constantly looking at yourself in the mirror from every angle mm-hmm. of course there are days like that but then there are also days where like I think mere se zyada perfect koi hai nahi and I'm loving myself right now exactly ni i think wo jo uh, self love if you use this if you explore this word ki aap ke self love kya hota hai it's it's very very difficult and i don't just mean the way you look theek hai na it just could be other things as well about your personality ke oh wo us lane bande ko lag raha hai ki main intelligent nahi hu ya meri zindagi mein wo cheez kaam nahi kar rahi ya why am i so like you make a mistake and you're like why am i so stupid and like hamari jo internal dialogue apne saath chal raha hota hai usko change karna like aap apne saath kis tarah baat kar rahe ho are you extremely mean and critical with yourself when something doesn't work out would you talk to your best friend like this no of course you won't you'll be much much kinder to her and i'd like to add that the sooner you realize that there's so much more to life there's yeah. so much more to life that's how like i don't know you just get better at accepting yourself obviously i mean i don't think i i don't even i still struggle with self love i don't mm-hmm. think i'm beautiful or anything like that that's just my job 3 hours of makeup a lot of editing <laughs> i i don't think that's how i actually look my shoot pictures or anything so i mean it's just for me I, uh, personally i've just accepted just being in the middle because you have such a amazing sense of self and i think it really shines through uh, and like i just want to know is it something the way you were raised or was it just something that just like happened you're like very it's like you're not making how you look or what you do for a living or you're not making it into a big deal it's like people are taking you seriously and your job but at the same time they know you're having fun so they're having fun with you as well because itne elements hote hain we can you can one can resonate with it and at the same time they're like nahi nahi acha ye kaam karti hai she's a model gave yeah, oh there's a shoot going on but then you make it fun as well you le- leave these captions ke okay someone kicked us out of the house mid shoot and is tarah karke choti bhai i got the time i got married to a horse gave yeah, us is like quirky fun stuff so you get what i'm saying i do i do i mean like yeah i don't let my career define me because mm-hmm. my career only came along what 3 4 years ago mm-hmm. i was who i was before that mm-hmm. and as for my sense of humor i don't know i i guess that kind of runs in the family mm-hmm. my parents are hilarious my i saw my siblings mm-hmm. were pretty funny but i think i'm the funniest of us well there are have uh, you know some are really fall in so we don't know <laughs> but i think in my life i've had to go through things that have really put things into perspective mm-hmm. um when you realize some things that in your mind have really been blown up or like in society it's such a huge deal or this and that yeah. then when you realize it's really not that important it's really not worth thinking this much about and mm-hmm. all it really puts things into perspective and that's when you just realize things which are important in life again this could be different for other for different people mm-hmm. i mean of course there's models that take their 
jobs very very seriously not saying i don't but mm. like they 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 only they're very competitive they only put up like their best selfies with the mm. filters and this and that for the mm. for like getting the maximum amount of jobs and stuff but i mean i also feel like i have a responsibility to be real online mm. because i have so many like little girls following me o level kids and all and i remember in my o levels i i would just be like going through magazines and stuff and thinking wow flawless stunning this mm. that when they don't know that there's so much editing behind this there's exactly. so much work behind this liquefying and i don't know what yeah. so i mean i think it's also my responsibility to tell them the truth that this is not what i really look like look mm -hmm. at these pimples yeah. look at these white heads it's like this it's, it's the dark circles everything and this is after my attempted makeup so <laughs> imagine what it looks like otherwise <laughs> so <clears throat> i think it is i i do kind of feel like responsible to show my authentic self and mm. what's really going on behind the scenes mm. and that things aren't as perfect as the finished product looks mm. so that's why i think that's where my sense of humor comes in and like me wanting to post what's genuinely happening yeah. and all of that i think you're doing a great service just yeah. putting yourself out there and being real because i think i've done it twice where i made two videos on different occasions where i was in one video i was taking off my makeup and i was filming myself and then in this other video i just woke up from a nap so i was like a mess but then i both times when i made those videos i felt so powerful in that in my room just in my room i was like i am the most powerful woman right now yeah. so i'm glad you and I, there were so many people matlab mujhe hamesha positive hi response mila hai ke you know just seeing you be yourself द अदर पर्सन फेल्ट द सेम वे के मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस आ गया अपने आप में डिस्पाइट वट माई रिलेटिव सेट वट माई खाला सेट वट फलाना सेट आई फेल कॉन्फिडेंट इन माई ओन स्किन टू द पॉइंट वेयर एवरी थिंग एल्स वॉज माफल ऑल ऑफ दी अदर वॉइस राइट एंड मुझे किसी ने कुछ कह दिया था अबाउट माई कम्पलेक्शन और समथिंग एंड आई आई रिमेंबर गोइंग टू माई डैड एंड क्राइंग के आई मैं काली हूँ या समथिंग लाइक दैट आई लाइक मुझे भी अचानक याद आया एंड देन माई डैड पॉइंटेड आउट टू सम लाइक मैगजीन और समथिंग लाइक सम it was like a fashion show or like a ramp where there were these like beautifully dark skinned like african american women and he was like look these girls are models and they're so pretty and you know it's tricky teeth and so ab wo mujhe wo kahan se pata chala because maine ki encouraging encouraging shout out to servicey i have exactly and i have this memory or itni मुझे ना अपना बचपन काफी याद नहीं आई डोंट नो व्हाई दैट इज बट आई एम ग्लैड यू रिमेंबर दिस बट आई आई रिमेंबर दिस के नहीं ये मुझे बोला क्या था एंड इट वाज सो इंपॉर्टेंट एंड आई थिंक द ट्रैप with being beautiful or wanting to be beautiful is that, that then that society just puts you in that box or phir aap usse bahar nahi nikalte aur maine ye notice bhi kiya hua hai ki ek a more patriarchal and conservative pakistani pakistani society mein agar ek ladki bahut khoobsurat hai to uski to pakki acha rishta aur shaadi type honi hai to career to tum bhool hi jao like you're supposed to marry well and it's 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 true like even in more pare likhe chale i'm lahore mein defense wale mein bhi reh rahe honge i personally know people like in my family jahan par it's an unsaid rule almost that the, that oh you're pretty and that's all you're going to be and और हम खातन को अलाउ नहीं करते टू बी मेसी टू बी डिस्कस्टिंग टू बी अगली टू हैव फेशियल हेयर बिकॉज वी ऑल हैव दैम ठीक है ना एंड इट्स सो इम्पॉर्टेंट नो सच में एंड इट्स रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट टू बी लाइक ओके विद दैट लाइक नहीं हम लोग एयर ब्रश हो मुझे तो ज़्यादा प्रेशर होता है आई रिमेंबर एन सी एम में आई एक दफ़ा एक बॉय था जिसने मुझे बोला कि पता नहीं पता सिर्फ फनी हो रहा था कि ओ तुम तुम मारी ना मुझे निकली हुई है टाइप सी ना तो आई आई गेस सेट टू हिम दैट यू वट इज जेलस दैट आई कैन ग्रो मोर फेशियल हेयर दैन यू कैन That's a really good comeback. Yeah. He was shocked. Ah, nice. he, and he did not mess with me again. <laughs> So I mean, this is a this is an open letter to all these you know women out there. Okay, uh, just don't give a. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up the being beautiful वाला भी stereotype क्योंकि जिस तरह box करते हैं I know this girl school time में मतलब से और she मतलब she fit the definition of what it means to be beautiful theek mm hai -hmm. jo society ne propagate ki hui hai and she wanted to be a doctor wo sari sari qualities usme thi kyunki doctor bhi hai pyari bhi hai lambe baal ye wo hazel eyes and god knows what but she was like sick of this idea ke i am still associated or i am still well known for being beautiful and not for the other things i wish to pursue mm -hmm. to ye bhi ek cheez is like everything has its negative consequences for women exactly एंड यहाँ पर आई थिंक थोड़ा हम थोड़ी 
हाउ मच डू यू गाइज थिंक एक तो अगर डू यू गाइज नो ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द मेल गेज कि हम यू नो कि आपको खातन को हम सेक्शुलाइज कर देते हैं कि और इवन जो आपका मेजॉरिटी आपका जो सिनेमा है वो जो सब आप सब ने देखा होगा वो जो स्लो मोशन ट्रैक शॉट होता है ऊपर से नीचे या नीचे से ऊपर का डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बॉडी पार्ट्स को हम डिफरेंट में बॉडी पार्ट्स को हम आइसोलेट करके दिखा रहे होते हैं और ये हॉलीवुड में भी होता है ये बॉलीवुड में भी होता है तो वो जो सेक्शुलाइज तरीका होता है ना इवन मर्दों को औरतों को दिखाने का और इवन अगर कोई सेक्स सीन है फिल्म के अंदर कोई रोमांटिक सीन है उसमें भी वो लिप्स दिखा देंगे या लाइक इट्स ऑल वेरी सेक्शुलाइज सो दैट्स लाइक द मेल गेज एंड आई फील लाइक हम कहीं ना कहीं उसको इंटरनलाइज भी कर लेते हैं कि यू नो इंटरनलाइज मेल गेज को हमने अपने मीडिया में औरतों को यूँ ही देखा है तो हम भी अपने आप को यूँ देखना शुरू कर देते हैं इज दैट समथिंग यू गाइज लाइक थॉट अबाउट लाइक द मेल गेज ऑल द टाइम नो स्केप इन पाकिस्तान स्पेशली आई मीन दस द थिंग आई थिंक अबाउट नाउ एन एवर आई लीव द हाउस दैट ओ इज माई आस कवर्ड ओ इज माई चेस्ट कवर्ड आई मीन नॉट दैट आई है लाइक यू नो आई मीन you you just need to constantly think about these things and yeah. sometimes you do just sit and think like oh why do i have to deal with this it's so irritating but uh, definitely yeah, yeah it's 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 like aap dekh bhi nahi rahe the but you can tell if someone's eyes are on you i don't know yeah. it's like we have this super power yeah. it really yeah. ki aapko pata hota hai yeah. i i don't feel safe unless i have another guy with me a guy friend or my yeah. dad or whoever because mm-hmm. that's when other men that's where they draw the line ke oh she has a male guardian with her so oh she's off limits if she's alone then taado all of you taado 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 jitna ho sakta hai yeah yeah and especially with you i don't know if you've experienced i hope you haven't but generally when you are working in an industry where again you're putting forward a image and you're like a model to people probably think that they have like access to you or they can have access to you hamara uh, industry thodi ab behtar hui hai sense mein ki there's more security there's more awareness there's more ki oh you cannot act inappropriately with me theek hai na is is that something ye thodi thodi cuz i know it's not to nahi hai because aur kisi industry mein nahi hai to yahan ki hogi but uh, are you seeing ki there is like things changing ya um, ya kuch abhi bhi thoda apne uh, everyone for themselves type of situation hai kuch log acche honge kuch bure honge I mean in uh, my experience mm. personally I have felt pretty comfortable. Mm. I don't think anyone I, has like had mm. the jurat to try anything. I can't say if that's just an experience for me mm. and I've been lucky and maybe others have not I mean, been. My mom is a working woman mm. so that definitely made a difference, a huge difference. There was a point when um she was posted abroad, all us kids went with her. We were four kids mm. and my dad was here in Pakistan and it was just her raising us for 5 6 years. so yeah. that's pretty incredible i don't i could not raise four kids even with a husband i don't know how <laughs> she did it but uh, both my parents have definitely instilled a level of independence in me and all us kids mm. from a very very young age like i would be going to school myself um on public transport in sweden since the age of 6 all alone wow. like going on the subway and then on on a metro bus and then another train and at the age of 6 and i mean that was unheard of over there but i was just chill with it and so are my parents mm. and i think that's very important at a young age to just trust your kids and have yeah. faith in their abilities you can't always keep them locked up at home out of protection you should let them do things on their own because yeah. they will be able to they'll be able to beautifully they'll surprise you and i mean that's what makes makes a huge difference in their personality from a very young age you have more confidence in yourself in your abilities in learning new skills so i think it's very important that we raised by strong women mm-hmm. because if it weren't for my mother like uh, for a year my father had to move to karachi so it was just my brother and i and my mother of course and she is the one who got me to kanad because she was the one who was with me you know hum log admission ke liye ja rahe ye wo so she did all of that and so it's like something i will never forget even though it was just one year but still it's like uska ek impact mere upar definitely pada ki okay if she can do all of these things on her own if she can manage all of that then i think i yeah yeah why not all women so i i think we towards we're also kind of nearing towards the end of our uh, podcast but i do want to just talk talk about one thing about uh, i think do teen cheeze ek to uh, i would if, if there's someone watching here and they came in here to talk uh, to 
to have a to see the conversation we've had with you Isha who are familiar with your modeling work who potentially maybe want to be a model one day as well so un logon ke liye uh, what kind of like advice or tips you know ek badi behan type se kuch advice that you would kind of want to impart on someone young who wants to enter this industry Hmm. Too much. Too much. <laughs> We have time. <laughs> Too much because, like, you know, with this career, it's not just like you. It's not just a simple Google search away. Mm. You have to really experience these things, learn from your mistakes. Um, you can ask your seniors. Not all of them will be warm and welcoming. There's a lot of stories about. Even I have some stories about how they were mean to me, and I don't know what. But um, <clears throat> no, I would just say that you should walk into this career. and just stay down to earth that's mm-hmm. the biggest key i do want to like ask you this towards the end what is some like an idea or a, an idea that you think we should all stand behind as a community as people a concept an idea that we should all stand behind could be anything be nice to each other yeah. Yeah. i know it's it's a very small and insignificant thing but honestly it's not when you see how people are to each other i mean it's the littlest things mm-hmm. and it really breaks your heart when you see that people the more selfish and more like self absorbed yeah, yeah and just really looking out for themselves only whatever benefits them so i think it could help if we're all a little more selfless and more kind to each other yeah oh that's so sweet well isha i had the best time talking to you and just like to bask in your positive energy uh, which is so infectious and i think this I, is my first <laughs> most relatable episode jahan pe i could speak my heart out ke okay bolti ro haani <laughs> me i knew ke this would be easy right yeah. what wasn't pain painful isha bad, it wasn't bad i was so nervous yeah, <laughs> yeah. i, I am crazy. more nervous than you like <laughs> no way ask rishya no. i'm serious yeah. I basically I'm the only one who's not nervous. Ye sab baaki sab nervous. That's why she's the boss. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you so much. It was so lovely having you here and we cannot wait to see all the amazing things you do in whatever category they will be in, but the world can use more people like you and I'm glad that we know you. <laughs> and on that very nice positive happy note khud hafiz everyone and uh, please isha ki baat yaad rakhiye be kind to one another we will if you want to know i mean if you have are not already familiar with her we'll give you her insta handle which is such a great handle to follow when you're feeling down because you will feel really nice looking at her stories a lot of feel good content hai inka and hame bhi agar aapko hamara content bhi feel good lagta hai to like share subscribe kar le mujhe itne feel good nahi hai hum bahut sakht baatein bhi bolte hain so, which is necessary which once is in necessary. a while it's a we kind of you know hum balance rakhte hain for with these episodes anyways take care everyone khuda hafiz and we will see you next week अगर आपको हमारा पॉडकास्ट पसंद आ रहा है तो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड फॉलो अस ऑन अदर सोशल मीडिया प्लेटफॉर्म्स गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो।